KBL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, we started off with the sunshine this morning, but we're starting to now see the clouds moving back into the region or developing pretty much right over the top of us. We're looking live from our Lebanon SkyCam right now. You can see a few of those clouds on our SkyCam. Not a whole lot of sunshine reaching the ground here. Temperatures remaining rather cool, but uh, overall pretty close to normal for this time of the year. 62 degrees, dew points down into the mid 40s, so overall not too bad, but we're starting to see those dew points coming up, so the moisture moving back into the region. And a bit of a breeze, too. Northeasterly winds at 12 miles per hour making those low 60s feel even cooler. Here's what's going on. We have an upper level low. You can see that spin in the atmosphere into the Ohio River Valley and several bands of showers setting up with that upper level system. Farther down to our south, we have some moisture that's going to be, for the most part, missing us off to the south. But uh, this piece of energy is going to capture some of this moisture and you will start to notice as we go throughout the rest of today, the clouds getting a little bit thicker and also the chance for some of those showers and even the rumble of thunder or two as we go through the later parts of today. So here in the News 8 Storm Team forecast, we have Lebanon in the background, clouds on the increase and a few of those showers and even a few rumbles of thunder. But most of this is actually going to be focused west of the Susquehanna River, closer to that upper level spin out in Ohio. So maybe not in Lebanon seeing the showers and thunderstorms, but a higher chance say, as you go to Franklin, maybe Mifflin County, some higher chances for those showers and thunderstorms. But as we go into tonight, a lot of that activity will begin to die down as the sun sets. Temperatures fall down into the 40s, some showers and some drizzle. Same kind of story for tomorrow. And because of the fact that we'll have some easterly winds, the temperatures will stay down in the low 60s for those afternoon highs. So uh, a little bit cooler than what we typically expect. Uh, your first pitch forecast, of course, the Lancaster Barnstormers have their home opener, 7 o'clock for that first pitch and taking on the York Revolution. So cross river rivalry there. Temperatures at the uh, first pitch will probably start off in the mid-60s, dipping down into the upper 50s by the end of the game. And again, we are watching the chance of a stray shower or two. I don't think it'll be a big deal, though, for those fireworks that are post-game. Temperatures right now, 62, like I said, in Lebanon, but we do have some spots already in the 70s, like around Gettysburg, 73 degrees there, one of the milder spots that is basically seeing more sunshine. Easterly winds coming uh, off of the Atlantic Ocean, at least at the low levels, but in the upper levels, we have a southerly wind bringing that moisture in from the south. So we'll start to see some of these showers developing across the region. You can see that here on Predictor, some showers, even a couple of rumbles of thunder, some thunderstorms popping up there. So as we go through the day and through the overnight hours tonight, we continue to see the clouds, even some showers around as that upper level system dives to our south, and then our flow becomes northerly. So tomorrow, clouds, even a few showers during the afternoon, uh, and that'll continue at least for Saturday morning. Same kind of story Saturday afternoon, the daytime heating. We'll watch for a couple of those showers to pop back up. So temperature-wise, we will start to see things climbing here in the long term. Check this out. By next week, things really start to pump up with that milder air moving into the region. So stray afternoon shower on Saturday, looking a bit milder for Sunday. Low 70s there, breezy and mild, mid to upper 70s. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, we'll watch for some showers there. But we could be talking about near 80 degrees in some spots on Tuesday wow. afternoon. So, 60, 70, yeah, 80. And a nice stretch of 70s there for sure. All right. Thank you, Matt. You got it.